Welcome to Thrive Upstate. My name is Thomas Leonard. I'm the garden manager here. Thrive Upstate is an organization that serves individuals with disabilities. Uh, Thrive Upstate is the oldest and largest nonprofit serving individuals with disabilities in Greenville County. Been around since about 1953, and we were started uh, by a mother who was adamant about getting services for her son. With our generous garden project out here, we provide horticultural therapy and vocational training to adults with disabilities. Basically just getting people um, using their hands, getting them active, um, practicing some of their fine motor skills, exposing them to different smells, tastes, colors, experiences, getting them out in the sunlight. So this is our, um, our main greenhouse. It's 30 feet by 90 feet. It's where we house our farm bot. We do everything from tomatoes, onions, peppers, eggplant, herbs. And we start a lot of the plants in here before we move them outside into our fields or into our hydroponic system. It's not only do we have the walkway paved um, so that we can push wheelchairs in here, but a lot of stuff is up at a height where people can uh, reach it who are in chairs. Uh, there are folks that may not have the upper body dexterity or the ability to uh, to f garden like you would expect to garden, and that's where the farm bot comes in. I really look at the farm bot as being a piece of accessibility technology. The farm bot provides people the ability to grow food who have physical limitations that would prevent them from doing it. A lot of uh, folks that we work with here at Thrive Upstate have a grasp on using the internet and you know use cell phones but they might have other physical limitations that prevent them from you know getting on their knees and weeding a garden bed. I really look at um, this whole system as providing a level of independence and um, self-autonomy for these folks. So this is the day activity side of our operation. This is, this is one of my favorite classes to have out in the garden. This is uh, Michelle. She's one of uh, our best gardeners. Do you want to tell them about what you do in the garden and stuff? In the greenhouse? I love the plant stuff. I love planting stuff. What are your favorite vegetables? Crunchy veggies that taste good. Yeah. Like you? carrots. And I don't like hot peppers. Now our, our goal is to make sure that our clients are integrated into the community. So we do have a lot of um, outings. There are some clients that um, may not have the ability to go. We still have something here for them to do if they miss going out on an outing. So they can come out, they get to plant the plants, they get to see them grow, they get to see something that they've done with their hands uh, come from the ground. Yep, I'm holding this one for you. There's a whole bunch of big ones right here. Our main market is through farmers markets because it provides our individuals an opportunity to directly interact with the community. A lot of times our individuals will come out and they'll help man the booth at the farmers market. This gives you know not only our folks exposure to the outside community, but it also gives the community a look inside to what Thrive does. What can I do? Well, we're gonna show you this robot over here. Today, finally booting up the farm bot was really uh, an amazing experience. My name is Rory. Rory. And I'm the inventor of the farm bot. Have you all had a chance to look at this yet? Not yet. What's it do? So, farm bot is a farming robot, so it can grow plants for you, like vegetables or flowers. Oh, wow. So, this is farm bot's hand. This is what farm bot uses to put the seed in the ground. Oh. Yeah. Farmbot, what do you think it is? This is lovely. Then Farmbot is keeping track of everything in the computer. Farmbot, right? Farmbot, yeah. Very smart, right? It's very smart. So you want to see it move? Yeah. 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 And plant some seeds in the ground and water. Yeah, dude. Well, the first thing the Farmbot's got to do is pick up the seed injector tool. So who wants to press the button to make Farmbot move around? Ready? Oh, there we go. Sally. Oh, check it out. Look, Sally. Oh, Watch look. it. Awesome, look at there. You see it, Sally? Yeah. You see oh, it? I see it. Look at there. Sally, look at there. That is awesome. Watch it, Sally. Look at okay. it, Sally. Look. Watch carefully. So now that the farm bot has the seed, it needs to put it in the ground, right? Yeah. And just click that right there with one finger. There you go. Oh, 
Did you enjoy it? Is that awesome, Michelle? Yeah, it was awesome. You want to make it water? Yes. All right. It was great having John John out here today. He was go, so excited to interact with the farm bot. There we go. I was really enjoying um, right, watch getting to watch the water come out and everything. I looked at him and I asked him, you know, what, what would you want to grow with the farm bot? And immediately he just said, Maybe some tomato tomatoes. So I went over, found a couple tomato seed packets. Which ones do you want to do? We got all kinds of different varieties here. You got the yellow ones, you got the red ones. Please. You wanna do those? Yes. Okay, cool. Let's walk down there with them. Let's go pick some tomatoes. Brought it back over here, <laughs> dumped the seeds out right into the into the cup and we let the farm bot do the rest. Oh, there we go. It's planted. Yay! The, the really cool thing we did today that really proved that you can do whatever you want with the farm bot and really get creative with it is we had Billy out here. Oh, look at that. Did we write a big B? Yeah. Big B. All right. Can we make try. a B for Billy? Yeah. <laughs> Watch this, man. And uh, we ended up uh, commanding the farm bot to write a letter B in the soil with the watering tool. And I thought that was just really great. You see that? Yeah! I really see now that this is going to be a great tool in providing uh, horticultural therapy, you know, really an all-encompassing, amazing, accessible gardening experience for the people that we serve. Just having this small computer in here you know, the possibilities are endless. You know, we're only using four of the tools that the farm bot has. We could essentially give it different abilities. You know, that's what we're all about here at Thrive Upstate. We're about enabling people to do what they do best. And I think the farm bot is really gonna enable people to do better.